welcome back viewers in this video we will uh, see how to uninstall a desktop so uh, in earlier videos we had installed the gnome desktop on endeavor os artemis so in this video we will see how to uninstall the installed gnome desktop so let us start now uh, re remember that we had installed uh, dpin desktop and gnome desktop earlier so what we will do is to remove the gnome desktop we will have to first login into the deep in desktop we cannot uninstall gnome desktop while we are booted into a gnome desktop so for that you have to boot into some other desktop so we have got the deep in desktop also so we will login into the deep in desktop now you have to insert your password so we are now booted into the deep in desktop now what we have to do is i will show you now let us check out the syntax that is to be used so first you have to uh, update the system so you have to use sudo pacman space dash capital s y u so copy this command go back to the virtual machine now you have to find the terminal and start it Okay, so this is the terminal paste the command and let it update your system while it is updating let us go back again to remove a desktop you have to use this command sudo pacman rs so we will copy this we wait for the update to complete so another 238 mb of updates are available and installation size will be around 509.36 miv and net upgrade size will be 19.64 so we will go and proceed with the installation total 53 packages will be upgraded
okay so now the system update is complete we will uh, reboot the system so let us do the reboot okay the power button is here we'll reboot the system Okay, so now we are again booted into the deep in desktop. It is still taking some time to launch the application and yeah, now it is working. So now we will paste the following command for removal of the desktop. So we will use this command. We copy it here go back to the virtual machine paste the command and here you have to type gnome space if you remember we had used uh, these two packages so gnome and gnome extras was installed so we'll have to remove both of them to completely remove the full gnome desktop if you use any one so the desktop will be partially uh, removed especially if you uh, don't use this gnome and you just uh, use this gnome extra then the additional packages for the full gnome desktop uh, will be removed but the gnome desktop will not be removed for removing the gnome desktop you will have to use this and if you just use this then the gnome desktop will be removed but some of the additional packages from the gnome extras will be pending and it will be uh, remaining in the system Now you have to press enter, give your password. It will calculate the, okay, so okay, so what we will do is let us first try to uninstall the Gnome only Gnome. So Gnome also is not going. So let us try to first uninstall the Gnome Extra. Yes. So when we try to do that, so Gnome is about uh, can be uninstalled. Oh, sorry, Gnome Extra can be uninstalled first. So what to do? There is one other method. First, we will uh, install uh, install the new desktop KDE, and then we can. <laughs> try to uninstall the gnome or first uh, we will uh, install the KDE then we will uh, try to uninstall dpin and once the dpin desktop is uninstalled then we will uh, uninstall the gnome desktop so let us do that so for that uh, what we will do is I will cl uh, close this again let us cancel the session yes so we will cancel the session instead of uninstalling first let us try to install the kde desktop so let us do that or what we can uh, do is we can go in gnome and then uninstall dpin first or maybe like, let us do it uh, let us install the kde plasma first so for a minimal kde plasma install you have to use sudo pacman dash s plasma dash desktop and the full uh, plasma desktop install you have to do sudo pacman s plasma or sudo pacman dash capital s plasma meta so this is a meta package it will install the packages so let us use this first so copy this now you have to open the terminal again so this will be a fresh uh, terminal now keep a space go back again to the command and use this copy the plasma go back to the terminal paste now you have to just enter give your sudo password okay so 
there are total 46 members in the group plasma that will be installed for the full uh, KDE desktop installation. So we will what we will do is we will just enter. So it will uh, by default install all the packages. So now it is telling me there are two providers available for the phone on Qt5 backend. So there is uh, dependency conflict. So what to use the default is first phone on Qt5 G streamer and phone on Qt5 VLC. So VLC is an uh, third party uh, packet so better to install the phone on phone on is the default kde packet so let us go with the choice one so total 261 uh, mb of uh, download will be there and the total install size of the kde full uh, desktop will be 667.93 mb so do you want to proceed we have to confirm now let us wait for the installation to complete once the installation is complete, what we will do is we will reboot the system, put into the KDE system and then uninstall the GNOME desktop. Okay, we have now completed the installation of full KDE desktop using the terminal. We stop our video here. In the next video, we will boot into the KDE desktop and then try to uninstall the Deepin desktop first and then we will uh, uninstall the GNOME desktop. So, see you in the next video.